Trials of a new malaria vaccine developed by Oxford University show it provides up to 80% protection for two years. The scientists who created the jab say it has world-changing potential and hope it could be in use from as early as next year. Our medical editor, Fergus Walsh, reports. Carried by mosquitoes, the malaria parasite continues to have a devastating impact in sub-Saharan Africa, where it kills around half a million children each year. Now, a highly effective vaccine may be within reach. Trials in Burkina Faso in West Africa involving 450 children had already shown that three doses of Oxford University's malaria vaccine gave around 75% protection for a year. New results show that a booster dose at 12 months extends protection for a second year at up to 80%. The vaccine was developed at the Jenner Institute at Oxford University, in the same labs where scientists created a COVID jab in the space of a few months. By contrast, the malaria vaccine has been many years in development. It's incredibly gratifying to make this breakthrough for malaria because it's such a difficult disease to make vaccines for and, you know, the potential achievement that this vaccine could have if it's rolled out, it could be really well changing. We may not need to wait long for definitive results from larger trials. Scientists plan to submit data to the World Health Organization within weeks with a view to getting the vaccine approved. The Oxford team has partnered with the Serum Institute in India, the world's biggest vaccine manufacturer, and says at least 100 million doses could be produced next year at low cost to make it accessible to many of the world's least developed countries. Fergus Walsh, BBC News. Well, earlier we spoke to the co-creator of the vaccine, Professor of Vaccinology at Oxford University, Adrian Hill. No other malaria vaccine candidate, and there have been over 100 tested in clinical trials, has reached this very high level of efficacy. And it's very important, as Fergus just said, that we're able to manufacture this vaccine at scale. And uh, Oxford University has again partnered with the Serum Institute of India to address that global manufacturing need for, in this case, hundreds of millions of doses. Malaria is a parasitic disease. You need to vaccinate against a parasite. And uh, there aren't any vaccines out there that work against parasites. So technically, it's been difficult for many reasons, one of the big ones being that this malaria parasite has 5,000 genes. A virus might have 10 or 20, so it's much easier to identify a good target in malaria. People have looked at very large numbers and finally settled on this one that is, is looking quite good. And then you have to develop a vaccine that is easy to manufacture, so it's not going to cost $50 or $100 per, per dose. And all of that has, has taken some time.